Hello, welcome back to my blind let's play of Dark Souls 3. This is episode 110. 110, we're on this stupid fucking twin demons into Demon Prince boss, where the Demon Prince just summons like, I don't know, 10? Gotta be at least 10 meteors that are all huge. And they basically have instantly killed me every time other than one, which I don't know even how I survived the one time that I did. They fucking home in on you like insanely fucking fast. There's like way too many. And they just do a fucking crazy amount of damage to you. And then the one time I did survive, the fucking boss had laid a pile of fucking magma underneath me, so I just got killed on Wake Up. Every time I want to test a new strategy on that one attack that's an instant kill, I have to fucking defeat both of these guys just to get there. just stupid. So this probably will be my last episode of the day. I mean, unless I make some major fucking progress or beat the boss. Dude, I'm losing all my fucking Estus blasts. I've made no fucking progress on the damn thing. Jesus fuck, man. Too many attacks, please, 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 okay, I heal. Okay, I did my normal R2 attack, which is not good against this boss. Gotta fucking heal again. Roll out of the way of the pink explosion bullshit. No, can't. Can't. Because the game's way more fun when it's just like 90% chaos and 10% order. Wow. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I, I guess I staggered him or something. I thought I killed him. Now I killed him. Oh, but the other one killed me. How fucking fun. The Dreg Heap, yeah, that's a good description for for fucking this game and the state of, like, video games and the state of the fucking world we live in. It's all fucking contained within this microcosm. It is a fucking Dreg Heap. That's unfortunately all it fucking is.
use one guy to fucking block the other guy. Because even though I can't walk through them, they can fucking walk through each other. Even though they're, like, enormous compared to me. Couldn't, but, I mean, you know, you couldn't just add a sense of fucking any balance to this fucking game at all. Like, it has to just be everything is fucking stacked against you. Because that's, that's the fun part, right? I mean, literally, like... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, like, I was gonna think, like, there, there's gotta be some more features we can add to this game, but, I mean, that just really nails it right there. You just wanna get killed by stuff off screen. Of course, I understand that's how it's gonna go when you're fighting a twin boss. But, I mean, can't keep them both on screen at once. Or if they are both on screen, that means they're both on top of each other, and that means I'm dealing with two desynchronized like, set of fucking combos and hitboxes to deal with. Which, uh... Yeah, it's it's just fun. It's just fun when you have no fucking openings, and then the openings you do get are just, like, surrounded by randomness and chaos. And overwhelm. Oh my god, still managed to roll into it. Okay. Okay. What a fucking stupid boss. And, like, obviously I'm extremely fucking incentivized to be as aggressive as I can possibly be and to figure out ways to be extremely aggressive against the first phase. Because it takes for fucking ever to get through, and in order to just have one chance at maybe trying to test a way to survive the fucking meteor attack in the second phase, I have to get through the whole first phase. Not to mention surviving, you know, the first 30 seconds against the second phase guy, too. Fuck, I'm starting to get a fucking headache. Yeah, this might definitely be my... Oh, my last episode of the day. I don't know if there's been one difficult boss in this game that I felt was totally reasonable. I guess, um, I guess that curse wood was pretty reasonable. Deacons of the Deep, I guess, was alright. I mean, that whole one was just based on you fighting a mob. So, it was a little more understandable. Uh, but I still had to switch off of poking weapon and just use a halberd in order to fucking beat it. stuck on the fucking rubble. They do not get blocked by it. You know, I remember when I was a kid and I was into Pokemon cards, and then I showed them to my friend who also had Pokemon cards, and he showed me Magic the Gathering cards. Uh, he's actually watching this series, but I, I think it'll take him a long time to get to, to get to this episode if he's only on episode two. But, um, I remember, like, seeing magic cards, and I've never been into magic really myself, but they are cool, I respect them. And I remember those were the first things I saw that introduced me to the concept of, like, every time magic... Like, before then, I was already into, like, RPGs, uh, NES and Super NES RPGs, and obviously played Pokemon, but Magic the Gathering was the first thing that introduced me to the idea that the game will give you advantages, but every time it gives you an advantage, it's also giving your opponent an advantage. And so, you really have to think about what you're doing. It's not like in, you know, Mario RPG, where you just equip something 
and like your stats just go up. It's not like fucking Final Fantasy where you equip a relic that allows you to fucking attack twice in one turn and like you just have a big advantage. You know, not to diss those games and you know, your more basic RPGs. I, I think they're amazing. I love a lot of them. One of my favorite gaming genres. Hence me fucking putting all this effort into this fucking game. Oh boy. But, yeah, Magic was the first thing that showed me, like, that kind of balance, where it's like, yeah, if you want to make it so that, um, I can't even think of, like, what a Magic card would do. Like, if you want to make it so that, I don't even know if there is a Magic card that does this, but, like, so that everything on the field does one and a half times damage or something. Well, you're going to be able to do one and a half times damage, but so is your opponent, so you're going to have to make sure that you do it at a time where you're going to be doing a lot of damage and they're not going to be doing much damage. Because otherwise you're going to screw yourself. Or you're just going to waste whatever it costs you to, to put that that magic up. And if you're both attacking lots or both not attacking much, then, you know, it's just not going to be worth it. This game does the opposite. It doesn't do what Magic does. It doesn't have a sense of balance, but it doesn't do what... Oh, the one's dead. Holy shit. It doesn't do what the old uh, RPGs did either, where they give only you the advantage and the enemy doesn't have the advantage. This game, it gives the enemy all the advantages. And I feel like that's not what I was sold on from the beginning of Demon's Souls. Like... I remember it feeling like... Not in every way, but in a lot of ways, like, at least with the humanoid enemies. It felt like they were trying to balance you and the enemies. Like, when you fought a humanoid enemy in the early games in this series, it felt like... Uh... felt like they had the same capabilities you did. And that was one of the exciting things about fighting the humanoid enemies, because you were like, holy shit, look at what these guys are doing. Can I do that too? These guys were just way better than me? That's kind of crazy. And obviously there were lots of non-humanoid enemies that would do all kinds of wacky shit. But, I mean, I came away from it with a sense of being similar to Magic the Gathering, where it was like, man, they're making the enemies crazy powerful and evil, but... They're giving you a lot of capabilities, too, and they just are expecting you to get good. And, uh... That's kind of how I felt about this series. Until this game. It's like... The enemies just have a million advantages, and, and death itself has a fucking lot of advantages. The game just wants to see you fucking die. It's not giving you all the tools you need to fucking deal with this shit, though. I mean, at least this boss, when you fight... Once you get to the point of fighting this guy solo... This feels, like, reasonable. Like a normal boss. Like, you can roll through the fucking... The hitboxes fairly easily. He doesn't just combo infinitely. Like, there's an actual, like, stopping point for you to get in and attack after he's done without having the fucking timing of, like, you know, someone on fucking combat boost from Perfect Dark where time slows down. Like, you don't have to be a fucking Olympian to play this game. You just gotta get good. Or this box, particularly. This, like, once you have it down to one. Almost took a hit there, but that would have been my fault, because I rolled it quite early. Okay, now, I mean, do I try and, like, switch to my shield that, that, uh, that tanks, like, uh, fire attacks more easily? I mean, it's got to be dodgeable without, without a shield. I'm going to try and just run, I guess, and then I'll just try and, uh, try and, uh, jump at the end. Like, roll at the end, basically. Let's just try and kill him before he does that attack. Yeah, right. Yeah, fucking right. As if that would happen. Shit's gonna come down on me, right? Yeah, yeah. That's deal with the bolt. Boom. 
Boom. Boom. Okay. Let's make sure I stay at full health. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really know what to do. I'm going to be as far away as possible, and I'm going to run laterally. And then I'm going to dodge at the end if that doesn't seem like it helped. Oh, oh, I'm alive! How the fuck did that happen? Let's just kill him before he can fucking do that again. Okay. Bang. Nope. Oh, this guy's way better at dodging than his first form. Oh my god! I didn't fucking see one single attack coming and I just fucking died. And look, I barely had his fucking health scratched. I, I had him at maybe one-fifth of his fucking health. One fucking attack that I don't know if I'd even seen that attack before. Maybe I saw it once in the, the collective three minutes I've had the chance to fight that second phase so far. Just, just one fucking attack and I'm dead. And, like, I, I don't even really know how I survived those fucking fireballs. Some of them hit the fucking rubble and, and died. I saw that part, but, I mean, there's barely any of that left by the second phase. And then by the time... By the time you dodge that attack once, it's gone. So then it's fucking, once again, making you fucking extremely incentivized to be hyper-aggressive. And then I don't fucking react to like an insanely quick fucking lava dive slam onto me and I just fucking die in one hit. Start over again. Waste more of my fucking time. It, it's not epic. Why are you playing the epic music, guys? This should be playing fucking clown music. This shit is not epic. It's stupid. It's entirely uh, emblemized by the difference between Super Monkey Ball 1 and Super Monkey Ball 2. And, and Super Monkey Ball 2 is still better than this game. But Super Monkey Ball 1 was like immaculately crafted to hone your skills. And then Super Monkey Ball 2 was kind of that way. And then the other half of the time there was just shit moving like faster than the human eye can track. And you just have to fucking, like, get lucky. Ow. I don't know why I pressed R2. That fucking attack sucks on this boss. Oh my god. Yeah, I just get trampled by something that you really had no way of watching. God, they're both in an aggro phase. Normally at least one of them is in the poison phase. Okay, this one's going into poison phase. Holy fucking Christ. Oh my god, they're both on fucking top of each other. Yeah, every, every few battles in these games, like, the bosses, like, figure out what you're doing, and then it seems, I don't know, maybe that's just luck, maybe it's perception bias, but, like, it seems like the bosses really strongly adapt to what you're doing, which I actually think is amazing. The problem is all the fucking jank included in the bosses. Like, that aspect of the bosses adapting to you is extremely fucking cool. However they're doing it, or if it's just in my imagination, well then, I guess uh, I'll never be bored if I'm able to imagine so much. Okay, they're both in poison phase right now. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I've never seen that before. So it's just a little bit of luck, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Really 
thing should fucking heal. Oh boy. Just get fucking barfed on. Oh, I'm on the fucking wall. That's not good. God, this guy's got a lot of health left still. I lost my lock on. Oh, God. Please don't die. Okay. Waste another health item. I suppose it's not a waste, but it, everything feels like a fucking waste at this point. Okay, we're going to have two in aggro phase, which I, I'm thinking means th this guy is going to go into poison phase. Okay, I, I need to get away though for a second. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, what am I supposed to do? Literally fucking two of them, both in aggro phase, with desynchronized attacks, so when one is fucking resting, the other one's attacking. Oh my god. Dude. This one's almost dead. Oh my god, please just fucking roll. Roll, 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 roll. Oh my god. My fucking camera's stuck on the fucking wall. Fuck this fucking game. I'm stuck on the rubble and I fucking die. <sighs> like, you... It, the game is hard enough. You could, like, you made a camera option to have the camera move away from a wall when it gets there, which I don't fucking want. The, the game already takes enough control out of your fucking hands. Like, I need as much control in my hands as possible. But you could make it so that, you know, you learn from the fucking... I, I'm pretty sure in Super Mario Sunshine, which is a 2002 game, extremely popular Super Mario game. You know, I think everybody's heard of it by this point. You guys could have fucking looked to that game and all of the subsequent Mario games where when the camera's up against the wall, the wall like just goes semi-transparent and the camera goes into the wall so that you can actually see what the fuck's going on. I mean, it's way less urgent in fucking Mario. Not that those games are totally easy, but like, you know, you need it even more in this game than you do in that game, but you guys couldn't figure that out. Holy fucking Christ. Fuck you. Wow. Wow, just get killed by just his fucking errant fucking claw swipe. As his fucking claw returns to its fucking neutral position, just... Just die. What a fucking stupid boss. And like, even once I get back to the second phase again, mm -hmm. I... I really don't know how to fucking consistently dodge that. That meteor attack. It feels like both times I survived it, it was luck. And I survived it with, like, no fucking health. Not even enough health to shield an attack. God damn. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Holy shit. Make it so fucking bullshit that you have to fight two of them at once. In a fucking janky arena, and there's rubble all over the arena. Yeah, the, the balance thing to do, to put it in terms of Magic the Gathering, would have made it so that at least they get blocked on 
the rubble as well, and they can't just fucking break through it at will. And then, the rubble could have been what I hide behind to fucking, like, avoid some of those fucking meteors. And you could have balanced the rubble so that there's not tons of it, you don't have tons of hiding spaces, you know, they're not always going to be available to you to hide behind depending on what part of the arena you're around. But you could have balanced it around something interesting like that. But no, they just wanted it to be like, you die over and over again. Yeah, just miss one dodge. Just miss one fucking dodge by a millisecond and you fucking die. What a fucking shitty game. I'm just gonna keep saying it over and over. I mean, I, I, I never fucking saw myself in a million years fucking saying this about Dark Souls 3, but... What an actually fucking shitty game. That's unfucking believable to me. He pushes me. I, I roll out of the fucking pink shit. And he pushes me back into it. Because they get to push me. I don't get to push them. But they don't push each other. They don't have to deal with each other's hitboxes. They can pretty much move around each other like they're both made of fucking twigs. I wouldn't mind going through the, the first phase of this fight more conservatively to, like, guarantee victory more easily if it weren't for the fact that I am going to need to put an insane amount of fucking reps into the fucking second phase in order to figure out what the fuck is going on during it. And I'm trying not to fucking heal when I'm, like, above, like, a quarter fucking health because I'm going to need... Like as many fucking Estus Blasts as I can muster for the second base. Yeah, now they're both on top of each other. It's extremely fucking hard to figure out what animation is what. So I don't know when to fucking dodge. Or what direction to dodge in. Hit. Oh my god, run. Boom. Can't fucking tell where I need to go. Oh good, I got luck to live. I mean, why don't I just fucking roll several dice and then if I get all the dice rolls I need, I just win the boss battle. It's kind of what it feels like. I prefer to not have to fucking put the energy and the fucking effort in when it all just comes down to dice rolls anyway. It's like, you want to get paid? Well, you got to put in your eight-hour workday, but then on top of that, you have to actually, like, roll a dice to see, like, how much money you make or whether you make any at all. Okay. One's dead. Oh, my God, run. Holy shit. Whatever. I'm alive. I had to scratch my face, so I had to shield tank that instead of dodging it. Holy fuck. I better feel. Oh my god, couldn't fucking dodge in time.
use the jumping one, whatever. Heal. Yeah, okay, can I run still? Yes, thank god. Okay, let's go. Recover. It recovers fairly quickly. That's good. Let's go. Let's 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 hope. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Okay, explode. Okay, let's go in. Gotta do tons of fucking damage. Hey, okay, shit coming down from the ceiling. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna have to heal. Burn a fucking ass this blast. I mean... I want to just hide behind this, but you know they're gonna fucking break it, and there's too fucking many of them. Dude, what do I do? What do I actually fucking do? What do I actually fucking do? This feels fucking hopeless. There's nowhere to hide, you can't run fast enough. And you fucking time your first dodge as best you can, and then you wake up to a whole shitload of them. And you get, like, you don't get invincibility frames after getting hit. Like, if you get hit by ten fucking meteors at once, that's ten meteors worth of damage. And I'm pretty sure I can only survive one or maybe two at max health. Oh, man. So... What do I do? And I have no one to ask. I don't even have anybody with me here to fucking give me any suggestions. As that fucking commenter pointed out, I, I have, like, almost nobody watching my fucking videos, so... Is there anybody out there to give me a fucking hint without just, like, spelling out a fucking, like, guided solution? Probably not. I mean, it'd be nice if there was somebody that could give me a suggestion on, like what direction I should be thinking in in order to fucking... Uh, in order to live through that attack. I mean, I guess next time... I guess next time I'm gonna have to just go right up close to it and... Uh, maybe if I'm, like, directly underneath the middle of them, I can somehow dodge them more easily because they'll be coming more so straight down and I'll be able to dodge them and they'll just hit the ground before hitting me. I feel like they have massive fucking hitboxes and I feel like they might also explode when they hit the ground. <sighs> what a fucking pile of shit this is. Honestly. It just gets really boring. Like, this part gets insanely fucking boring. And it's not even free. It's like something I have to put a lot of effort into. 
It's like homework. Holy fuck, man. Gotta get all the way through this fucking long, annoying, chaotic, random fucking first phase. Just to get one fucking chance to figure out how to dodge a stupid fucking one-hit fucking kill move. That you have, like, once it, once it comes, there's, like, very little time to, to look at those meteors coming at you and think... Hmm, what should I do here? Now that I'm in front of it, what ought I do? Each of these guys legit takes about 15 or 20 hits to kill. Now both are aggro. Oh fuck. <laughs> At least those were synchronized. One, two, three, okay. Just wanna go after you. Bang. Bang. Okay. I can't just fucking just dogpile on you because your fucking boyfriend is coming to fucking defend your fucking honor. didn't damage me and it only fucking uh, poisoned me. God damn. Hey, okay, this one's going into aggro mode. The other one's in poison mode. I think they're supposed to be always offset, but probably something can throw the timing off. Depending on how the phases go and what you're doing. Mash and roll. Not enough. If you get fucking staggered at the end of your stamina bar and you're basically just eating the next fucking hit. It sucks to be you. Uh-oh. Oh, heal. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four... Swipe. Okay. Okay. Managed to stay out of the pink shit. Almost done. Oh god. Got too greedy. I guess I just want to fucking kill it. Oh my god. I wish like as soon as it died, your fucking lock on to it would end, but it doesn't right away. So you wind up just like looking at nothing for a few seconds while you're trying to fucking adapt. The fact that the first guy's dead, and you need to start focusing on the second guy. Holy shit, man. Dude! The, the fucking buffer is the fucking stupidest thing. You miss the timing on the first part of his combo. But then, because you are mashing dodge, because you just have to mash every fucking button in this game for a, a, a chance of what you're trying to do actually happening. Uh...
then you enter a second roll into the buffer. So you're in the wrong timing for the first part of the combo, which means your buffered roll that comes out after you get up from taking damage is also going to be wrong. And then, by then, like, you're lined up to be hit by the third one as well. Because you're, like, mashing roll to get out of the fucking second one before you realize that, like, it's already fucked. You're already getting hit by it because... Uh, because of the buffer to roll from the first one. I don't even know why I did that attack. The fucking, the, the basic R2 with this lance is good against human enemies. It's good against human enemies and the kind of movesets that they have. It's really not good against enemies like this. Hey, the double slam again. Good job, you fucking idiots. Hey, let's go kill Mr. Poison. Let's try and roll around him. Oh, yes. You can never fucking get too many fucking hits in, because the fucking second guy's always, always ready. Oh, this is not a good position to be in. Yeah, I knew that was gonna fucking happen. Oh, okay. Major camera issues. Getting greedy. Whatever. Gotta fucking try something. Are they both poisoned right now? Yes. Okay, let's try to charge one. Let's just try it. Oh, boom. I got smoked by the poison shit. Didn't really realize that's what that was. Oh my god. Too fucking close. Can't fucking get my camera. Position. Oh, this guy's fucking running interference. Oh my god. Kill this guy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Die, 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 die. Oh, <laughs> Just mashing R1, trying to get a fucking R1 attack out just to fucking end the first guy. And yeah, just get comboed by him and the second guy and fucking die. Like, what is this testing me for? It's just testing my stupidity for continuing to fucking play a game that proves over and over that it doesn't respect my fucking time and energy. Re really, that's what it is. The, and the more I fucking win at the game, the more I fucking lose at the test. The more it shows that I'm a fucking idiot. swipe. Uh, there's too much fucking going on. There's too much to fucking keep track of. Deal. Okay, I'm getting fucking poisoned. Oh, man. Okay, 
Okay, we got two poison ones on our hands, which means this guy's about to fucking transform. As long as he doesn't, I'm in fucking easy mode for a few seconds, and then when he transforms, I'll have some more chances to hit him. And I don't want to get cocky, though, because that's when I'll fucking die. Okay, here we go. Bang. Stamina recovery. Bang, bang. Fucking switch to the other guy, would you? And I'm toxic now, so my health is fucking going out at a wicked pace. That's fucking shitty, and that's gonna take a while to fucking run out. Oh, that's not good. Look how fucking slow that toxic meter's going down, man. At least I have the health recovery to somewhat counteract it. But, like, oh, that's fucking lasting for fucking ever. If it's not gone by the time I get to the second phase, I'm gonna have to fucking... Holy shit. Can't even fucking dodge attacks I've seen a million fucking times because I'm busy thinking about how between phases I'm gonna have to navigate into the menu and use one of those fucking rare fucking toxic, uh... Detoxifier items, whatever the fuck it's called. Lose my fucking lock on, because this game made in 2016 can't handle a fucking basic feature that uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time fucking managed. Back, it literally in the last millennium. Dude, look how fucking slow the toxic meter goes down. I can't even hit him, because he's such a fucking janky pile of fucking shit. Again, yeah, you just can't hit him from behind. So if you're actually good enough to manage to fucking get behind him, you actually get punished for it. At least if you're using my build, probably with a great sword, you would fucking hit him. Almost no matter where you're standing. Dude, I'm wasting all my fucking Estus, so I'm, I'm gonna have to like... Oh my god, that's gonna be so fucking hard to navigate to that in the middle of this fucking battle. But if I don't, I'm gonna lose all my fucking Estus. Okay. Do doesn't seem to fucking matter. Doesn't seem to fucking matter. But yeah, I, uh, I don't even remember what the fucking item's called. Guess I better make sure I have those fucking items fucking equipped, otherwise there's just another fucking way to fucking die. What a fucking pile of fucking shit this game is. I, I, I can't believe how much I fucking hate this game now. That is unfucking believable. Fuck off. Holy fuck. There it is. You need a fucking special purple moss clump to fucking 
Cure toxic. Well. Uh, yeah, it's 50 minutes into this. I mean, I, I, I just don't... I just don't have any more energy to give to a fucking pile of shit like this, man. So that'll be the end of episode 110. I'll fucking probably come back to it fucking tomorrow if I'm fucking stupid enough to keep fucking playing this fucking pile of shit. I'm not looking up a fucking thing, because... Because it's just fucking dumb as shit that you can't just figure out how to deal with a fucking boss's moveset from just playing the boss, but... Uh, whatever, I can't even fucking think straight anymore. What a fucking shitty fucking game, man. Fuck this game, man. Fuck this fucking game. And, uh, yeah, I, I just can't wait till I'm fucking done it and I can drop a fucking giant fucking shit of a fucking review on it. That's it. That's the end of 110. Let me know what you fucking think of this pile of shit. And I'll be back in 111.